Section 1 of Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Larry Wilson. Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter by American Molasses Company. Molasses. Molasses, a product of sugar cane, is a part of the American tradition and has graced American tables since the days of the first colonists. It played a very important role in the building up of the early commerce of colonial New England, where it was and is still considered an everyday food. In this part of the country, the molasses jug is as commonplace as the salt and pepper shaker. The wise buyer who wants the best of all molasses for every purpose will study the many grades of molasses now on the market. These grades range all the way from top quality products with a smooth, rich, mellow flavor down to blackstrap, a low quality with a bitter black flavor. The finest molasses is produced in the British West Indies where the production of molasses is a major industry and is closely supervised by the government. From these islands and elsewhere, the buyers of the American Molasses Company select the best of each grade and by skillful blending and careful aging produce grandma's unsulfured molasses with its sweet, rich, and delicate aromatic flavor. No molasses in which sulfur dioxide is used as a clarifying agent is permitted to go into grandma's molasses, the finest of all molasses blends. The quality grandma's unsulfured molasses is the secret of its delightful flavor. Pour some on a teaspoon. Notice its rich golden-brown color. Now taste it and enjoy its sweet, smooth flavor. Its purity is guaranteed, for it is not bleached. It does not contain sulfur dioxide or chemical preservatives of any kind. That's why Grandma's unsulfured molasses is so different from ordinary molasses. Grandma's molasses is an all-purpose molasses. Use it at the table over waffles, on bread, or in milk. Use it in your favorite recipes. There's always a dish that calls for grandma's molasses. For morning fruit and cereal, to dinner, main dishes, and desserts, you will find just the recipe you need in this booklet. The concentrated juice of sugar cane is the source of grandma's unsulfured molasses. This high-quality molasses contains the natural health-giving sugars and minerals squeezed from the sun-ripened cane. The cane juice is carefully concentrated to produce molasses of the finest flavor and the most appetizing color. Sugar is needed, especially by active people, to supply heat and energy. Grandma's unsulfured molasses has a high sugar content. It contains cane, dextrose, and levulose sugars. Grandma's molasses is a natural sweet, which can boast of more than energy value. It contributes zest and extra nutritional values. That is why it is referred to as nature's most nutritious sweetener. Iron is essential in the daily diet for children and adults to help build red blood, to prevent nutritional anemia due to lack of iron, and to help build buoyant health. Several foods are generally referred to as especially valuable sources of iron. Among these are molasses, liver, and spinach. Molasses is several times richer in this mineral than is spinach, and ranks near liver in its rich iron content. Grandma's unsulfured molasses is a convenient and rich source of nature's iron. Calcium is essential in the diet of people of all ages. It is especially important for growing children and for pregnant and lactating mothers. Calcium helps build strong bones and teeth and steady nerves. Grandma's unsulfured molasses is considered a fair source of this important mineral. Vitamin B is essential to good appetite and steady nerves. Molasses contains some of this important vitamin. End of section 1。section 2 of Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter。This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Robin Lee. Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter by American Molasses Company. Section 2. Logically, molasses. Meats, vegetables. 
Logically molasses meets vegetables. Glazed ham. Six to eight pounds cooked ham. Whole cloves. Two tablespoons grandma's molasses. One half cup sugar. One half teaspoon dry mustard. Three tablespoons grandma's molasses. Heat oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, moderately slow. Remove skin and part of fat from a hot cooked ham. Score fat in diamond shapes, stud with cloves. Place on wire rack, cake cooler, in large, shallow pan. If desired, line pan with metal foil. Dribble two tablespoons molasses over entire surface of ham. Mix remaining ingredients, pat uniformly over ham. Bake 40 minutes or until ham is glossy and brown. Panned glazed ham. Cook slices of ham on both sides in heavy skillet until almost brown. Spread grandma's molasses thinly over each side. Continue cooking until ham has browned and is nicely glazed. Pineapple upside down loaf. Topping. One tablespoon butter or margarine. Two tablespoons grandma's molasses. One tablespoon sugar. Three slices pineapple. Three maraschino cherries. Ham loaf. Two and a half cups, one pound, cooked ground ham. Two cups, one pound, uncooked ground pork. One cup crushed cornflakes. One half teaspoon salt. One quarter teaspoon pepper. One teaspoon dry mustard. Two eggs beaten. One quarter cup milk. Heat oven to 350 degrees, moderate. Melt butter or margarine in a 4 by 9 by 3 inch loaf pan, measured across bottom. Stir in molasses and sugar spread uniformly over bottom of pan. Arrange pineapple and cherries over molasses butter mixture. Mix all ingredients for ham loaf in order given. Spread mixture in pan over pineapple pressed down. Bake one hour. Turn out on hot platter with pineapple and cherries on top. Yield. 16 slices, one half inch thick. Barbecue sauce. Three tablespoons butter or margarine. One half cup chopped onions. Six ounce canned tomato paste. Three quarter cup water. Three tablespoons vinegar. Three tablespoons grandma's molasses. Two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. Two teaspoons salt. Two teaspoons dry mustard. One half teaspoon pepper. Three quarter teaspoon chili powder one half teaspoon garlic powder or one garlic bud. Melt butter or margarine in saucepan. Add onions, cook until limp. Add remaining ingredients, mix well. Pour over frankfurters, spare ribs, hamburgers or meatballs that have been browned. Cook over low heat or bake in oven until the sauce is of desired thickness and meat is tender. Yield one and a half cup sauce. Baked lima beans. Two cups dried lima beans. 6 cups cold water, 4 teaspoons salt, 1 quarter cup catsup, 1 quarter cup grandma's molasses, 2 tablespoons chopped onion, 1 teaspoon dry mustard, 1 quarter teaspoon pepper, frankfurters or bacon strips. Wash beans. Add cold water, soak overnight. Add salt. Cover saucepan. Cook in water in which beans were soaked until tender. Drain. Save two cups bean liquid and mix with catsup, molasses, onion, mustard, and pepper. Pour beans into a two-quart bean pot. Add liquid mixture. Arrange frankfurters or bacon strips over beans. Cover. Bake in moderately slow oven, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, two hours. Uncover. Bake 15 to 20 minutes to brown frankfurters or bacon. Yield eight to ten servings. Baked beans. Quick method. Baked beans. Four cups, two pounds dried beans. Cold water. One large onion. Four teaspoons salt. One half cup catsup. One half cup grandma's molasses. One half teaspoon pepper. Two teaspoons dry mustard. One half pound salt pork. Wash beans. Cover generously with cold water. Soak overnight. Add onion, salt, and if necessary, additional water to cover beans. Bring to boiling point in covered saucepan. Remove onion. Simmer until beans are tender. Drain. Save three cups bean liquid. Add additional water to make three cups if necessary. 
Mix bean liquid with catsup, molasses, pepper, and mustard. Pour beans, onion, and salt pork into bean pot. Add liquid mixture. Cover. Bake in moderately slow oven, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, one and three quarter hours. Uncover. Lift pork to top of beans. Bake 20 to 25 minutes to brown pork. Yield. 16 servings. Old-fashioned baked beans. Simmer only until beans are half done. Skins break. Bake in slow oven, 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 to 8 hours. Baked canned beans. 2 cans baked beans, 2 tablespoons grandma's molasses, 1 tablespoon chopped onion, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon prepared mustard, 3 strips bacon. Heat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, moderate. Heat beans. Stir in molasses, onion, salt, and mustard. Pour into baking pan. Arrange bacon over beans. Bake until bacon is brown and crisp. Yield five to six servings. Baked acorn squash. Cook. Acorn squash, one sixteenth teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, one sixteenth teaspoon cinnamon, two whole cloves, two teaspoons grandma's molasses, one teaspoon butter or margarine. Heat oven to 400 degrees, moderately hot. Wash squash, split in half lengthwise, and scrape out seeds. Put the remaining ingredients into each half. Bake 45 minutes in covered pan containing 2 inches of hot water. Uncover, bake 15 minutes or until squash is tender and has browned. Steamed acorn squash. Place squash in a large pan about 4 inches deep. Pour from 1 to 2 cups water around squash and cover with metal foil. Cover pan with a tight-fitting lid. Steam over medium heat 20 minutes or until squash is tender. Glazed carrots and onions. 8 carrots, 8 onions, 1 quarter teaspoon salt, dash of pepper, 1 quarter cup grandma's molasses, 2 tablespoons butter or margarine. Heat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, moderate. Cook carrots and onions until almost tender in just enough salted water to be absorbed during cooking. Place in casserole. Sprinkle with pepper. Dribble with molasses and dot with butter or margarine. Bake uncovered 25 minutes, basting occasionally, until vegetables have browned and are nicely glazed. Yield four servings. Glazed sweet potatoes or squash. Replace carrots and onions with cooked sweet potatoes or parboiled winter squash. Mashed sweet potato casserole. Cook. Three and one half cups mashed sweet potatoes. One third to one half cup grandma's molasses. Three tablespoons butter or margarine melted. One half teaspoon grated lemon or orange rind. One half teaspoon salt. Marshmallows. Heat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Moderate. Combine sweet potatoes, molasses, butter or margarine lemon or orange rind and salt. Add a little milk if potatoes are too dry. Pour into casserole. Top with marshmallows. Bake 30 minutes or until sweet potatoes are hot and marshmallows have browned. Yield eight servings. End of section two. Read by Robin Lee, Phoenix, Arizona, November 15th, 2021. Section 3 of Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Read by Betty B. Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter by American Molasses Company. Cakes. Plantation Cake. 2 cups sifted enriched flour. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon double acting or one and one half teaspoons cream of tartar baking powder, one and one half teaspoon cinnamon, one half cup shortening, one half cup sugar, one half teaspoon soda, one teaspoon grated lemon rind, one half cup grandma's molasses, two eggs, two thirds cup milk. Heat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, moderate. Sift together first four ingredients, cream together shortening, sugar, soda, and lemon rind. Add molasses, stir in one half cup flour mixture, 
Beat in eggs. Add milk alternately with remaining flour mixture, about one-third of each at a time. Beat one-half minute. Bake 25 minutes or until done in two well-greased, lightly floured, round, eight-inch layer cake pans. Cool, frost as desired. Yield 12 servings. Marble cake. Two cups sifted cake flour, one teaspoon salt, two teaspoons double acting, or three teaspoons cream of tartar baking powder, one half cup shortening, one cup sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, two eggs, two thirds cup milk, one quarter cup grandma's molasses, one teaspoon cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon cloves. Sift together first three ingredients, cream together shortening, sugar, and vanilla. Beat in eggs. Add milk alternately with flour mixture. Beat one half minute. Place one third of batter in a small bowl. Stir in molasses and spices. Pour light and dark batters alternately into a well-greased, lightly floured eight-inch tube cake pan or into a nine by nine by two inch pan. Bake tube cake one hour in moderately slow oven, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. The nine by nine by two cake, 45 minutes in moderate oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Frost as desired. Yield 12 servings. Applesauce cake. One bowl method. Have all ingredients at room temperature. Two cups sifted cake flour. One cup sugar. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon double acting or one and one half teaspoons cream of tartar baking powder. Three quarter teaspoon soda. One quarter teaspoon cinnamon. One quarter teaspoon nutmeg. One half cup shortening. One third cup grandma's molasses. One cup unsweetened applesauce. Two eggs. Heat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Moderate. Sift first seven ingredients into a mixing bowl. Add shortening, molasses, and applesauce. Mix until all flour is dampened. Beat two minutes by hand or electric beater. Low speed. Add eggs. Beat two more minutes. Bake 25 minutes or until done. In two well-greased, lightly floured, round, eight-inch layer cake pans. Cool. Frost with molasses mocha frosting. Yield 12 servings. Molasses feather cake. One bowl method. Have all ingredients at room temperature. Two and one quarter cup sifted cake flour. One half cup sugar. One teaspoon double acting or one and one half teaspoons cream of tartar baking powder. One half teaspoon soda. One teaspoon salt. One half cup shortening. Three quarter cup grandma's molasses two eggs, one teaspoon flavoring, one half cup milk. Heat oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, moderate. Sift first five ingredients into mixing bowl. Add shortening, molasses, eggs, and flavoring. Mix until all flour is dampened. Beat two minutes by hand or electric beater, low speed. Add milk. Beat two more minutes. Bake 25 minutes or until done in two well-greased, lightly floured, round eight inch layer cake pans cool frost is desired yield 12 servings spiced feather cake omit flavoring add one teaspoon cinnamon one half teaspoon nutmeg and one quarter teaspoon cloves molasses sponge cake one cup sifted cake flour one half teaspoon salt five eggs separated one half cup sugar one half cup grandma's molasses one tablespoon grated orange rind one and one half teaspoons grated lemon rind, two teaspoons lemon juice. Heat oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, moderately slow. Sift together flour and salt. Beat egg yolks with rotary or electric beater until thick and lemon colored. Gradually beat in sugar and molasses. Then, by the clock, beat with rotary or electric beater, low speed, an additional three minutes. Stir in orange rind, lemon rind, and juice. Add flour mixture one-third at a time, mixing each addition until smooth. When all flour has been added, beat until light and fluffy, about one-half minute. Beat egg whites until stiff enough to stand in peaks, but not dry. Fold by hand into batter. Bake 45 minutes in an ungreased 9-inch tube cake pan. Turn cake pan upside down on wire cooler. If cake is not dropped out of pan when cold, Loosen from sides with spatula. Yield 12 servings. Devil's Food Cake. Two-thirds cup shortening, two-thirds cup sugar, one teaspoon soda, 
one teaspoon salt one teaspoon vanilla two-thirds cup grandma's molasses three squares bitter chocolate two eggs three-quarter cup sour milk one and one half cup sifted in rich flour heat oven to 375 degrees fahrenheit moderate cream together first five ingredients stir in molasses melt chocolate over hot water add to shortening sugar etc mixture beat in eggs add sour milk alternately with flour about one-third of each at a time bake 25 minutes or until done in two well-greased lightly floured round eight inch layer cake pans cool frost as desired yield 12 servings old-fashioned fruit cake heavy with fruit two and one half pounds six and one quarter cups raisins cut in half one half pound one and one quarter cups candied cherries sliced one half pound one and one quarter cups candied pineapple sliced one half pound two cups pecans coarsely chopped one half pound two cups blanched almonds sliced three quarter pound two cups citron thinly sliced one quarter cup sifted enriched flour use to tenderize fruit one cup grandma's molasses one half cup water cake batter two cups sifted enriched flour one quarter teaspoon soda one and one half teaspoons cinnamon one and one quarter teaspoons nutmeg one teaspoon allspice one half teaspoon cloves one half square bitter chocolate melted one cup butter or margarine six eggs unbeaten one and one quarter cup sugar one half cup milk to freshen and tenderize fruit heat molasses and water to boiling point gradually stir in fruit and nuts to coat each piece with syrup slowly cook until all liquid is absorbed by fruit about five minutes stir constantly place fruit on large platters to completely cool stir occasionally just before adding fruit to cake batter mix fruit with one quarter cup flour to mix cake sift together flour soda and spices cream together butter or margarine sugar and chocolate beat in three eggs stir in one half cup flour mixture beat in remaining three eggs add remaining dry ingredients alternately with milk stir in freshened fruit line bottoms and sides of two greased tube cake pans measuring eight inches across bottom grease paper well pour batter into pans bake three hours in very slow oven 275 degrees fahrenheit keeping a large flat pan of hot water on rack underneath cakes to prevent them from baking too dry turn cakes out on wire cooler remove brown paper store in tightly closed tin box when cold yield eight pounds end of section three section four of grandma's recipes for mother and daughter this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox.org read by veronica mead Grandma's Recipes for Mother and Daughter by American Molasses Company Toppings, Frostings, and Sauces Old English Hard Sauce One third cup butter or margarine Two and one quarter cups sifted confectioner's sugar One tablespoon milk Two tablespoons Grandma's Molasses One teaspoon flavoring Or one half teaspoon grated orange rind Cream butter or margarine until fluffy Add confectioner's sugar alternately with milk and molasses. Add flavoring or orange rind. Yield 1 and 2 3rd cups hard sauce. Molasses whipped cream. 1 half cup heavy cream. 1 tablespoon grandma's molasses. 1 half teaspoon vanilla or rum extract. Whip cream until almost stiff. Add molasses and flavoring. Beat until stiff. Serve over hot gingerbread or spice cake. Yield six servings molasses butter frosting one third cup butter or margarine three cups sifted confectioner's sugar one egg white unbeaten one teaspoon vanilla lemon or rum extract one tablespoon grandma's molasses two tablespoons milk cream butter or margarine until fluffy add one cup confectioner's sugar egg white and flavoring mix well Add the remaining confectioner's sugar, alternately with molasses and milk. Mix thoroughly. 
spread on tops and sides of two 8-inch layers or on tops of two 9-inch layer cakes. Chocolate frosting. Add three tablespoons cocoa or one square bitter chocolate melted. Omit flavoring. Molasses mocha frosting. Replace milk with two tablespoons cold, double-strength coffee. Omit flavoring. Orange frosting. Omit flavoring and milk. Add two tablespoons orange juice, one teaspoon grated orange rind, and one half teaspoon grated lemon rind. Boiled taffy frosting. Two cups sugar, one half cup water, one quarter cup grandma's molasses, one sixteenth teaspoon salt, two egg whites beaten, one teaspoon flavoring. Thoroughly mix first four ingredients in a saucepan. Cook, without stirring, to firm ball stage, 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Gradually beat hot syrup into egg whites, beaten stiff but not dry. Continue beating until mixture stands in high peaks. Beat in flavoring. If frosting hardens before spreading, beat in a few drops of hot water. Spread on tops and sides of two 9-inch layers or on tops of two dozen cupcakes. Banana Whip Topping 1 egg white unbeaten 2 large ripe bananas 2 tablespoons sugar 1 eighth teaspoon salt 1 tablespoon grandma's molasses Place all ingredients in a small bottom mixing bowl. Beat vigorously with an electric or rotary beater until mixture is light and fluffy. Serve at once over squares of hot gingerbread or cake. Yield 8 to 10 servings. Browned Butter Frosting 1 third cup butter or margarine 3 cups sifted confectioner's sugar 4 to 5 tablespoons light cream or undiluted evaporated milk 1 tablespoon grandma's molasses Brown butter or margarine in a saucepan Add confectioner's sugar alternately with cream or evaporated milk and molasses Spread over tops and sides of two 8 inch layer cakes Raisin filling 1 and 1 half cups seedless raisins, chopped 3 quarter cup water 1 quarter cup grandma's molasses 2 tablespoons cornstarch 1 half teaspoon cinnamon 1 quarter teaspoon cloves 1 tablespoon butter or margarine 1 half teaspoon grated lemon rind Grind raisins in food chopper twice, using coarsest blade Add water, molasses, cornstarch, and spices Mix well Cook until mixture is thick and clear, stirring constantly Stir in butter or margarine and lemon rind. Spread between two 9-inch layers or on tops of two 8-inch layer cakes. End of section 4